May I extend my greetings and message of goodwill to all Kenyans throughout the country and beyond during this season of Easter. This is a season that reminds us of the passion of Christ. It underscores the element of personal sacrifice and compassion for others. However, it should not be lost to us that like last year, 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic is still tormenting us. Jobs continue to be lost. Deaths from the virus are on the increase. Medical facilities and staff are overstretched. And hunger is biting even deeper and wider. Just when we thought lockdowns would ease, they are coming back. It is on the basis of this background that I wish to address myself to two or three specific issues whilst acknowledging the commendable efforts made by President Uhuru and his government through the Ministry of Health to mitigate against these challenges. First, the Ministry of Health must pronounce itself authoritatively with precision and clarity on the emerging controversy and confusion around the vaccines being administered in the Kenyan environment. In particular, AstraZeneca and Sputnik. AstraZeneca is government sponsored and we have seen that it is widely available in both public and private facilities. Essentially, the taxpayer and our development partners have catered for this vaccine and we are grateful for it. The other, Spartnik, is private sector driven. All cobwebs around it need to be removed. In short, we should not be having conflicting responses as to the source and importer of the vaccine, given that all this information is available on the import declaration forms and these can be made public. Over and above the import declaration forms, you can easily trace the details of the companies, their directors, their shareholders in the Registrar of Companies office. Our contention is that when you have a government program that involves the public being seen to be undermined by some members of the same government, it sends conflicting signals and discourages the uptake of the vaccination program. This contradiction should be nipped in the bud so that the government program can be accelerated smoothly in order to eliminate the anguish that Kenyans are going through as a consequence of COVID-19. Secondly, to mitigate against the suffering of Kenyans, the government should also reinforce the incentives it has put in place to cushion the less fortunate and vulnerable members of our society. Support programs that are in place for small and medium enterprises should be actualized. We further call upon the government 
to revisit the value added tax, VAT, on essential food items with a view to making them affordable to the ordinary mwananchi. Equally, the monthly relief stipend for the elderly and other special interest groups should be paid in a timely and prompt manner. This also includes pensions to those who qualify for pension. I am bringing out some of these issues, particularly in relation to the clarity around COVID, because people might take advantage and start selling even that which the government is providing for free. AstraZeneca is free to all Kenyans. It has been catered for. But if clarity is not made, is not sorted out, or the confusion is not cleared, it will not be long before you find that that which the government has given to be administered to Kenyans for free will start being sold. Under the guise, it is the other vaccine. That would be very, very painful to the Kenyan people, and it would make people benefit where they should not be benefiting from at all. Because this is a matter of life and death, and we want to save the lives of Kenyans. Finally, I wish to, in, to conclude by encouraging all Kenyans to avail themselves for the vaccination exercise. And please be guided that even after the vaccination, the Ministry of Health protocols must continue to be upheld. Don't fall prey to false myths around the vaccine. And indeed, it should not be lost to us that virtually all of us have, at one time or the other, gone through the polio vaccine, the yellow fever vaccine, the measles vaccine, amongst others. And in these vaccines, and indeed, these vaccines did not in any way impair the procreation abilities of the Kenyan people. That is why our population continues to grow. In conclusion, I say, God bless us all. God bless Kenya. And let us all keep safe during these Easter holidays and the days after.